with a record of 51 and 31 last year, which is bound to go down. The Portland Trailblazers, Justin and I both have them as the worst team in the Western Conference with additions of Ed Davis, Mo Harkless, Mike Miller, Noah Vonley, and Mason Plumley, and losses of these are big. Lamarcus Aldridge, Nick Batum, Wesley Matthews, and Robin Lopez. This is a team that was going uh, was coming from being a contender to looking like the lottery. Justin, uh, if you're a Trailblazers fan out there, uh, I mean, uh, we just saw some big names being dropped off this team. I- is there any hope? I mean, there's hope in Portland long term. I, I really do like Noel Vonley. I think he can be a good player. Uh, we didn't really get to see a lot of him with the Hornets, especially with the injuries that he had. Um, outside of Vonley and Damian Lillard, I don't know how much of a core truly is there. Um, I, they're obviously going to be picking fairly high in the lottery and have the potential to add someone along with Lillard. But we've seen it in the past. I, I think once Lillard doesn't have all those options around him, you mentioned losing four starters. He's going to see a lot of double and triple teams. Teams are going to say anybody but Lillard beat us. His efficiency already has been a little up and down throughout his career. It was pretty good his rookie year, was spectacular his second year, and tailed off last year. I think without LaMarcus Aldridge, Wes Matthews, Nick Batum, and Robin Lopez there, um, we're going to see a bit of a drop-off. Um, the one other guy I put in that core would be Plumlee. I, I do really like him. I think he you can run pick-and-roll action with him and Lillard, but outside of that, I think it's going to be a really rough season for the Blazers. No, I do. I do as well. And when I'm looking at this at this lineup, I'm basically seeing exactly what you're saying in terms of, of my worries. Efficiency. We have Damian Lillard, who's a capable scorer. We have C.J. McCollum, who can who can come in and do some poor man's Lillard, if we want to say it. <laughs> but, but but then apart from that, it's just a bunch of bigs who are going to get the ball for Lillard. So my worry is it just becomes a chuck fest, and he just ends up shooting forty percent. Um, from the field taking you know 30 shots a game because wh- where are these points going to come from on this team i mean uh, you have myers leonard who you've convinced to be a three-point bomber who, who actually shot really well last year yeah. um yeah um i don't know if a lot of people appreciate this guy's stats but he he taught himself just to be a stretch player uh, he was uh so last year over 50 percent from the field over 40 percent from three and 93 percent from a free throw that's your center uh, so that's not bad. I mean, look, is he going to be a star? Who knows, right? Probably not. But this team has a lot of bigs. Uh, I mean, they could have one of the biggest starting front courts in the league between, you know, Mason Plumley and Myers Leonard, who are both 7 7 1. Von Lay's about 6 11. You know, Ed Davis, another uh, 6 10, 6 11. And Mo Harkless, a player I feel is in a good situation because he's going to get to play last year in Orlando. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not saying he's a supremely talented player, but he is a wing defender uh, who has good size, athleticism, and can and can stop some people. So I mean, uh, obviously we're trying to you know boost these guys up. I, I don't think anyone expects them to be good, but you know when you're looking at the foundation, I I think these guys are just looking for you know pieces in the draft to come up. Like like I think they're in the rebuilding phase. But my biggest question to you is. Sure, they're in the rebuilding phase. We get it. Is Damian Lillard, um, at this point of his career, at 25, young enough to be on this rebuild boat? Oh, I I think he's young enough to be on it. Um, I mean, we've seen young rebuilds, even in Toronto, where um, Kyle Lowry is 30 years old. Um, Lillard's still just approaching his prime. He's, if, I think with the pieces that are in place, and with the trade assets they have, they could realistically turn this around in about two or three years. He's actually in a similar position to where LaMarcus Aldridge was uh, last time around when they had to rebuild from the Brandon Roy, Greg Oden era. Um, so you might see some other young stars that come up and they might be on a slightly different timeline than Lillard. But I, I'd 100% keep Lillard around. I, I think he's one of the most talented young point guards in the league. Even though my expectations for him this season aren't super high in regards to efficiency, um, it, it's not an indictment on him. It's just 
when you're a point guard, there's a lot of ways to lock you up when there aren't other threats. Uh, we saw it with uh, Kyrie Irving in Cleveland prior to gaining uh, Kevin Love and LeBron James, where teams would just double and triple team him when the only other NBA player really next to him was uh, Tristan Thompson after uh, Verja went down. So um, I, I think Lillard is going to struggle. I think there's going to be times that the Blazers sit him uh, for bumps and bruises because they don't want to jeopardize his long-term health. Um, so you're probably going to see fewer games played, a little bit more wear and tear. I don't know if he can even slightly commit himself on the defensive end of the floor, not that he's done it in the past, but um, I, I'd keep Lillard around. There you go. Well, these are your Portland Trailblazers, and uh, hopefully there's a little bit more life in there, eh? Maybe Vonley takes another step. Maybe Harkless learns to shoot a three. Mm -hmm. Maybe a lot of these things happen. I mean... I'll say this about Harkless. Um, This is more an indictment on Harrison Barnes and Mo Harkless, but there's not a lot at this point in their career to point at Harkless not being an equal to or better player than Barnes. He hasn't really got a lot of opportunity. Barnes obviously has been in a perfect situation, but I, I think uh, if you're looking for a breakout candidate, uh, Mo Harkless would probably be that guy for Portland. Absolutely. Well, guys, uh, let us know what you think. Portland Trailblazers, are they better than the worst team in the uh, West? Although, uh, for many guys who, who follow me on Twitter and such, I, uh, they know that if you're not going to be the best, you may as well be the worst. That's where the draft picks are. Leave the comments below and join us on the next episode of Worst to First here on HoopsLounge.com.